If you wanna make your thumbnails pop and stand out against all the others, I'm gonna show you how to do that today in this video using a totally free app and it's easier than you think and it only takes a couple of steps and you can apply this to existing thumbnails if you already have them and you can re-upload them to YouTube. And of course, you can apply this to all future thumbnails as well. And I got you covered for both Android and iPhone, so nobody's left out today. Now, today's video is going to be a short one because there's only a couple steps that I wanna show you, but those small steps can make a huge difference and it doesn't matter how good your picture already looks, this will make it look better. Better. I run every single picture that I put anywhere, even pictures that I send to my mom, I run it through Snapseed and that's the app we're working with today. So get your phone open, open up Snapseed and let me show you how to do this. When you open up Snapseed, the first thing you wanna do is go in and choose the image that you wanna edit. Now for this tutorial, I'm actually gonna show you two different examples because they look a little bit different but I wanna show you how you can pump each one of them up and make them pop. So the first one I'm gonna show you is this one right here. Now, there's nothing wrong with this thumbnail, but I'm gonna show you how to bring it to life, and it's really easy to do. What you wanna do is go down to Tools in the very bottom, tap on that, then up on the top left, you're gonna to see Tune Image. Tap on Tune Image. Now, if you press and hold, you're gonna see this selection of tools right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Brightness, and I'm gonna to touch it and hold it, and I'm gonna move it to the right, and I'm gonna brighten up the image. Then I'm gonna press and hold again, and I'm gonna come down to saturation, and I'm gonna press and hold and move that to the right as well. And you can see right away that this picture's starting to come to life. Now I'm gonna press and hold again, and I'm gonna come down to ambience, or ambience, however you pronounce it. Leave a comment below and let me know how do you pronounce this. So once ambience is loaded up, again, I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna move it to the right. I'm gonna press and hold again. I'm actually gonna go up to contrast. I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast. Now. I like how this looks, so if you wanna see what it looked like before, go up to the top right, tap there, and this is before, and this is after. So you can see there's a huge, huge difference. Now, for this particular thumbnail, I'm not finished, but what I wanna do is go down to the bottom right, tap on the check mark, then I'm gonna go back to Tools, I'm gonna to scroll down to Vignette on the bottom left, I'm gonna tap on that, and if I tap and hold it, it's gonna allow me to choose either the outer brightness or the inner brightness. So I'm gonna adjust both of those. As you see here on the edges, it's darkening just a little bit. Then I'm gonna to come to inner brightness. I'm gonna brighten that up just in the center. And if I like how that looks, I can tap on the check mark and I can go back to tools again or I can export it, but I'm gonna do one more thing on this one. I'm gonna go back down to tools, go up to the very top and go to details and then I'm gonna go and add structure. Not too much structure, but just a little bit of structure. This adds detail to your image. So I'm gonna go back to the bottom right, tap on the check mark, and if I press and hold it, it's gonna show you the before and the after. The before and the after. So that took an image that didn't look that bad, but you didn't realize how dark and not colorful it was until you pumped up the colors and made it pop. So to save this, I'm gonna to go to the bottom right to export, then you have the option show up here. I'm gonna export this as export as, it's gonna create a copy, and I can name it to whatever I want right here, and I'm fine with that, and I'm gonna save it, and then I'm gonna open a new file. Now gamers, this one's for you. I recently made a video showing you how to make a Fortnite thumbnail, and I'm gonna put a link to it. It should be showing up here on the screen right now. But for this particular thumbnail, if I wanna brighten this up and make it look even more colorful, the same steps apply. I'm gonna go down to Tools, I'm gonna to go to Tune Image up on the top left, and the first thing I'm gonna do is crank up the saturation. And you can see right away that that's adding saturation. I'm also gonna come down to Ambience. I'm gonna crank that up a little bit. And here's the before and after. And you can see the colors are just screaming off of this thumbnail. And that's what you want. You want thumbnails that get attention. You want colors that grab eyeballs as they're scrolling around on YouTube. And there's a ton of thumbnails to choose from, you want their eyes to be drawn to your thumbnail. Now, I'm gonna check the check mark on the bottom right. I'm gonna open this back up. I'm gonna come to structure, add a little bit of structure. I love how that looks. Now, this is the before, and this is the after. Right, so it's taken an image that's already colorful, and it's adding a lot more color and a lot more vibrance to your image. So once again, I'm going down to export. I'm gonna export it out and you're all finished.
Now you just saw how easy that was. So it doesn't matter where you're gonna put the image, you can run them all through Snapseed and use those exact steps to make all of your images pop and come to life. But in regards to your YouTube thumbnails, go back and make all the old ones pop if they don't already. And any new ones that you put together, make sure those pop as well. The idea is you wanna get the user's attention and this is one of the ways that you can do that. If you wanna learn how to make content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber or you just wanna learn more about creative apps like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button followed by the notification notification bell so you don't miss out on future content. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.